Imagine this cell. We are composed of cells, you know, trillions of cells. But uh, we take one cell out of there. We take one cell which is like the same as all the other cells. Mm -hmm. the, the, the thing with the cells is there is an inner and an outside world. There's a protective shield, outside world uh, of the cell, and then there is the inner world. If the, if the protective shield is not working well, then all kinds of stuff can get into the cell. And that means stress. That means it's because of oxidative stress and inflammation in our daily lives and bacterial stress, viral stress, biological stress, emotional stress, mental stress. It's all stress, cell biological stress and it gets into our cells and now our protective shield around this cell has been like jeopardized our lifestyle is too much comfort we seek too much comfort there's no stimulation there is no exposure to the elements of nature it's all protected through houses cars through clothes all the time everything is like covered, covered and destimulated. Because of the uh, we our physiology from uh, uh, millions of years ago was exposed to the elements of nature. So our physiology actually is built to be stimulated, to endure and to uh, activate inner mechanisms that are able to endure and to neutralize the impact of environmental stress. Yet now, because of our comfort zone behavior, we live without stress, but the stress is uh, it now coming in in different ways than the environmental stress, uh, 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 which is uh, in our mind. And that is emotional, mental stress, daily stress, congest uh, congestions, uh, we have to do this, we have to do that. We uh, ignite our bodies to do work, 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 while our body actually is not prepared to take on so much stress. We become feeble, we become, uh, you know, a, burns, a burnout, uh, uh, inflammatory diseases. In 2014, I showed uh, to be able to get a bacteria injected, which normally makes you very sick. It's a controlled experiment. It's called the endotoxin experiment. And 16,000 people prior to me, they all became sick when injected with that bacteria for uh, between three to six hours. And then I came and within 50 minutes, I had it within my control. And then they said, no, but you, you are the Iceman. You climb Mount Everest in your shorts, the, the Kilimanjaro in record times, in shorts, and, uh, uh, beyond the polar circle, you run marathons, uh, and you run them even barefoot in midwinter, uh, beyond the Arctic circle, and in the desert, and you hang by one finger in the air, and then uh, in midwinter, and, uh, and you stand for two hours in the ice, all all those miraculous records and uh, the superhuman and all that. No, I have been testing my body in environmental stress. Outside the nature activated, therefore, deeper mechanisms inside and they work the way nature meant it to be. And now we found a way to biohack into the body and give people an autonomy a sense of autonomy over the immune system, vascular system, lymphatic system, endocrine system, all the systems. Because that's the way we are built, but we forgot. We lost. Uh, we lost the connection because of comfort zone behavior too much. And it is very nice. I love watch hours and I love comfort. But at a certain moment, I really had enough of it all. I need to go or I want to go really hard to the cold water, swim and be in deep meditation, deep 
connection and deeply letting go my mind and let the body take over and it results in such a graceful being being powerful being there beyond thoughts just in the here and now and that's sanity that's meditation mechanisms in the body and just by the power of thought which is neurology you ignite and activate neurology in the rest of the body to be able to endure physical stress at command of the will and that is where mm. our future will go there is one thing I want to do in this world is to relieve the unnecessary uh, a terrible stress of people who, uh, who are suffering from mental disorders. In short, uh, we are capable just by the power of will, we are connect well through environmental stressful exercise, that means hormesis, that's the new exercise going to be, hormetic exercising, that to connect. Who's that word? Hormesis is like acute self-inflicted stress, like fasting could be, or going into the cold, or doing breathing exercises, wherein you do retentions. You stop breathing at a certain moment. That is very stressful for the body, well, you feel completely in control, acute stress, self-inflicted, and that is consciously done, and, uh, and anybody can do that. Hey, it's a tool, and the tool is for you, it's your choice, it is not a dogma behind, there is no dogma behind, and there is no uh, uh, long exercising practices needed. Within a half hour, you can see it and feel it for yourself and then you use it whenever you are in stress and you are uh, the victim of the stress uh, to take control over the stress and to make it go away. I lost my wife in uh, 95 uh, through a suicide. She kissed uh, her four kids goodbye just before jumping from eight stories down. There I was. Mm. I was working at the time in the in the mountains as a mountain guide uh, to get some money, and uh, and she was with the family, uh, the Spanish family, and uh, was there in the mountains, and uh, she did that at uh, like half past one in the morning. Uh, and, and, uh, well, mm. What is that? It's like. Yeah, was left behind with four kids, a broken heart, and it's irrational. It's eating you alive. Uh, you can't, cannot not think about it. You cannot uh, not indulge into it. 
it's uh, it's real and now i know how it works but at the time uh, but the only time i could find a relief uh, stop the thinking was going into ice water ice water and breathing exercise deep mm. breathing exercise and there uh, and now i know that the deep breathing exercises and uh, the cold uh, both able to change gene expressions in uh, in our cell and uh, through these exercises these the hormesis the hormetic exercising of breathing plus the cold we are also able to tap into the deepest of our brain at will that's exactly mm-hmm. where emotions reside grief reside you ask me the purpose of grief is the, if there is any there is absolutely a great purpose but uh, back then i was very uh, uh, very powerless in, in, in what was happening it was all a process she was going down the whole of psychiatry could not help her and uh, nobody actually could uh, help her she was a beautiful person very vital very alive and then uh, a shadow came in and it uh, uh, went uh, became bigger and bigger and bigger and we nobody uh, and not me i could not stop it and i, I didn't see it coming as well um Uh, yeah. that, that's what I had to deal with with something unknown and even unknown in psychiatry so there I was <laughs> the, at that moment I could only stop my mind of go when you go into the cold water you don't think you just survive it, 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 right. it is, you, you are just there but that gave me a break of this loop and that that yield me because the loop is eating you alive it wants you uh, actually to break the loop but i could not but the cold water did it the cold water gave me that relief and the breathing exercises they were able to tap into that area of emotions in, in the deep in the depth of the brain i did that for years for years on my own because I had nobody around me I had very little money I had to take care of four children alone and I, 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 but I was becoming quite vital and happy and uh, uh, without thought I was take care I created a new nest uh, the, uh, the purpose of life was there okay she was not there but so I got to live for two and I had the energy of two and it nature has the capacity not only to heal but also take on the purpose of those who left it becomes subconscious it is w- deeply within and it's there your brother is still there he, he is here and he is here around us like my mother is around me she is gone uh, out of her body but in metaphysical sense they uh, the energies us that never gone the soul is never mm. gone that we are not schooled in that that we do not understand i know i have experienced it and of course the whole world was not built to uh, use uh, natural methods to make people to heal people to get to their soul to their purpose to their core to the sanity 
No, make pills, make medicines, make dependency, make therapies, make hospitals, make whole infrastructures of dependency and slave the people to get money. It's wrong what is happening, but I put that aside. I just come with here with a positive message that the purpose of those who have gone and their lives is never gone. That, that we are able to realize, to make manifest, there is a purpose for everything. We only need to learn to tap in deeply enough. They talk about the unlimited power of the mind, and yet we cannot handle our mind uh, to become happy, strong and healthy. Hey, what's the matter? We are able to shoot people to the moon, to Mars, but not to become happy, strong and healthy here and know our purpose? Hey man, let's go back. Let's go back. Because we lost something. And that what we are lost, it is found. Nothing is needed. You are perfect the way you are, but not if it is systematically uh, schooled to become this, that, that. You have to do this. Restrictive, narrowing consciousness creating. Blocks, building blocks that serves a system that serves only a couple of people. And they are not even happy. So uh, we have to go away from that. The future paradigm, and I'm showing this in very simple techniques, and it sounds like mega, uh, 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 whatever, you know, like I'm talking like, a, a, wow, he's talking so far out, man. No, I'm talking into the DNA. I'm talking about inflammatory markers. I'm talking about the depth of our brain being accessible and all scientifically endorsed. It's all there, but it began with the belief that, uh, that war abuse uh, 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 of humanity and cruelty to animals, pollution, uh, exploitation of this earth, and uh, keep on going with negativity, that that is normal? I think it is sick, and I'm gonna do something about it. Every day I go swimming outside, I say, I gotta, day, I gotta die once a day. That, uh, when I go into the cold, you just got to let go of these thoughts and the indulging and all. Just let it go because you're going to go in the cold and the cold and, and your thoughts, they produce nothing more than a certain degree of inflammation in, in, into your body. Let it go. <laughs> let the body do what the body is capable of and feel that it is alive. And that's what I do. If you uh, look and the way that uh, people see their differences, they don't see the soul, they don't see happiness, strength and health to be owned by every individual. No, they see differences. They say, yeah, you are an American, I'm a Dutch guy, and then you got Japanese, and you got Australians, and you got the Russians, and uh, etc. And uh, political, racial, uh, 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 vegetarianism contra uh, uh, people we meet uh, uh, thousands of differences that's where they got lost in, in their mind and until the body and happiness and just mere unconditional love feeling it and being it is not done we have to keep on cleansing cleansing and it's gonna be it's nice to cleanse because when you feel yourself clean and that's what I Feel afterwards, I feel I'm just there, and I'm most grateful just to be there and not to be clouded by all kinds of thoughts. Listen, there is no dogma with this. This is no religion, but you should be divine, feeling divinity within yourself. And if it is not, cleanse yourself. I got some tools, man. You go into the cold, which is very good to tackle cardiovascular related diseases, conditions, killer number one in our society, Western society it is. Well, to tackle it, a cold shower a day keeps the doctor away. How simple is it? So that's what I tell people in, in this almost funny way. I want to bring something very important that we 
are not really alive in our uh, uh, right condition in our vascular system, cardiovascular system. It's our heart and 125,000 kilometers, which is about 70,000 miles of vascular channels, vessels like capillaries, uh, arteries and veins. It's all inside. If the skin is ripped off, you see all the vascular channels. It's just rat, rat, uh, or color rat, and uh, uh, it's where the fluid, the life force is, and it goes through. And what do we do? We cover it up. While all the thermal receptors, pain receptors, and temperature receptors, they end up in the skin. They are connected, they need stimulation then the millions of little muscles in the vascular system are going to be stimulated. And they help the blood flow go through every minute. What happens if you take a cold shower, your heart rate goes down. If you take regularly a cold shower, uh, uh, then the heart rate goes down with 20 to 30 beats a minute to 24 hours a day. That means stress is gone. And then the vascular system with the millions of little muscles, primitive muscles, they are stimulated. They become strong. They help the blood flow. And thus, it reaches all the cells so much better. And then a, a, a lot more uh, nutrients, oxygen, and vitamins reach out. You get a, more, a lot more energy. So a lot more energy and a lot less stress. That's what your body is. You know, they, uh, our feet, we, we put our laces and then yeah, suffocate them all the day long. <laughs> and we think that's, it's normal. And we walk away, uh, walk around like dandies. Look, look how I constrict my body and let it not breathe. Beautiful, huh? Beautiful, huh? You know, sometimes we just need to let it go. Let uh, at least once a day be naked. Be like uh, uh, the way nature meant it to be. And let environmental stress uh, touch you a little. Let the omnipresence, the cosmos, the, the universe touch you. And be there, grateful for what you are and what you experience. What is not in the books, it's in nature. Nature has answers for anything. Only we have to reconnect with nature. Uh, uh, we are not in harmony with nature. We don't give a fuck about the ocean. It's full of plastics and it keeps on going and we keep on polluting, we keep on exploiting and the greed is keeping on going. Hey man, uh, if that is the nature, uh, uh, no, it's wrong. Anybody who lived before me, I know, like my fathers, my grandfathers, my nephews, who, whoever was gone, my wife, all those, I lived for them. I lived for them. My, my wife was so, hey, it's Frank Ocean. I, I'm just having a very nice conversation with a very nice man. I bless your life. I, I, I love you. I bless you.